Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you can mention or tag a user in a work order to communicate with each other. Um, so let me just open up uh, one of our completed work orders here as an example. This is a really great way to keep all of your communication between users in one centralized place to uh, keep accountability for what's going on with your work orders. So here you can see this example, we have some tags set up here with our location, our account, a uh, short description for a test. Um, but where you'll want to go is if you scroll down, there's going to be this activity section down here. And so, for example, you can see that on December 14th, Brandon completed the work order. So let's say I wanted to follow up with Brandon um, on any attachments or images maybe that came out of uh, completing this work order. All we have to do is start typing the at symbol. And if I type in Brandon, for example, you can see I have a couple of options that pop up here. I can select Brandon and then uh, go through with my question. So do you have any images? Save comment. So now you can see this gets logged down here in the communication history. Uh, you get a success message that the comment was saved. Brandon will now get an email letting him know that he has been mentioned in a work order and then can also come back in here and tag me, respond back to me. All gets logged in the history there. So again, just a really great way to keep accountability and communication centralized within your work order flow. Another bonus uh, while I'm thinking about it is that we can actually turn on your settings to also text a user as long as we have a valid um, mobile number that is assigned to that user. So not only would they get an email that they've been mentioned, but also a text message notification um, all at one time.